There's a big mama coming. Look at you go, girl. Hey, cut that out. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh, not good. We got ball sack. And I'm hurt. Okay. Let's to oh shit, here he comes. Get on the bike. Get on the bike. <laughs> this guy's relentless. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days and I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, I think what we're gonna do is clear a path through the wasteland over to that town or slash city over there. As far as I can tell, there is no road to get over there, but it's really close by. So we would just have a small ish area that we'd have to get through. Uh, for that to work. How in the world is that dog not seeing me? He's right there. Damn buzzards. Where the hell did they all come from all of a sudden? They were just circling, waiting for me to get hurt, weren't they? Bastards. Um, so, if nothing else, we could go over there. We could see how large that town actually is. We could do that opening trade routes and you know something else that i completely f forgot until i started thinking about it was that we get a lot better loot in the wasteland and you know keep in mind too i've uh, i'm way ahead of you guys now in these recordings so some of you may have already mentioned that to me in the comments but if you have i haven't seen that yet so i think what we'll do yeah is let's let's just go ahead and start making ourselves a little bit of a pathway through here uh with the idea being that you know, well, it's almost like we're going to make like a little road, you know, coming through here. All right. Well, let's see here. I'm going to start by clearing out these cars. Oh, nice. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Nice loot right off the bat, huh? Holy crap. This is really nice upgrade. Okay. Um, yeah, like, look at the, look at the green numbers on this. Now, this guy is probably going to weigh a ton. Can we even put it in our inventory? Oh, yeah, we can. All right, we're, we're going to have to carry the, this back out and put it in a temporary storage place. Um, all right, let's, uh, I don't think we can use that yellow car there. Is there a bird's nest nearby? Yeah, there's one right over here by, uh, by, um, oh shit. What are we, fatigued? Oh man, I don't have any vitamins with me. Man, it's just unbelievable how fast this guy is. Oh, we got, uh, Mr. Ballsack over there. <laughs> Guy's such an asshole. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, here, let's put the. Um. Oh, I can't. I can't use those as containers. Oh, shit. Okay. What about this car? Nope. All right. We've got to find something that I can use as a container. That is really bizarre looking. Weird, man. Uh, okay. So, I guess what we'll have to do. I mean, suppose we could put it back in that car, but. Uh, now, let me. Let me. Um, drive back this way and find something else. Okay, here's a trash can. We can or a trash pile. We could use this. Okay, so let's put that in there. Um, we're going to take the mod off of you and put it on you. 
And we got ourselves a really nice upgrade on our on our fire axe. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do, though, of course, is we're going to mark this. And we're going to call this, um, is there a picture of an engine here? There's an electric motor. I don't see, like, a gas engine, though. Not that it matters a whole lot, but still. All right, well, we'll just do this, then. We'll, um, we're going to call this buggy engine. Right, okay, cool. All right, let's go back and keep working on our our road here. So we're probably going to get attacked by all kinds of crap as we move through here. Case in point. Get out of here. Oh, is this titanium? It is titanium. Can we mine it with this? Ooh, we can. Okay. Um, We'll have to keep that in mind, too. It looks like... Where's that damn bird? Is he going to come after us? Come on. Come at me, bro. Okay. We're not making very good progress <laughs> on our road here. But man, I that that was those were some nice finds. We got a uh, we got a freaking uh, what you call it? Oh, um, last or not laceration abrasion. Jeez Louise. All right, let's take one of these. Make a road through the wasteland, he said. It'll be easy, he said. Well, actually, I didn't say that. <laughs> what a pain in the butt, though. All right, let's take this apart. Here comes ball sack. Yeah, here he comes. Yuck. Disgusting, man. Okay. Alright, let's go back this way. And we'll bring our bike in this far. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for landmines too. All right, let's stop right there. Let's see what's in this car. Look at that! My goodness, this was a good idea. <laughs> Coming into the wasteland like this, should have done this earlier. Wow. Okay, let's take whatever the hell I have on here, the iron breaker. And put it on here. We're like seriously making out like a bandit here. Okay, let's take this apart. We got a car wheel too. I might end up maybe putting some torches down or something like that just to kind of show what the path is that we've cleared. Let's take a quick peek inside this building here. Oh, for goodness sakes. Don't be doing your exploding thing. All right, there's nothing in here really to speak of. 
Um, do these things still have stuff up on the roof? Hell, we should just come into the wasteland and check cars. It's already proven to be extremely fruitful. Uh, there's a thing down here. Duffel bag. Okay. Alright. Let's put that there. I uh, don't see any loot up here. Okay. All right, what does that fatigue actually do to us? Oh, lowers max health. Okay. Eat vitamins to cure this. Yeah, I mean, I got all that stuff back at the base. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to bring some of that with us since we're going into the wasteland, huh? I wasn't actually sure if I was going to do this. I was debating whether or not I was going to do it. Okay, so... One thing I guess we could do is, how about, well, it's going to be pretty obvious. Okay, these show up as white, so there's more there. So when the time comes for that, we're going to really be able to find it. But let's do this. Let's mark the end of this as, <clears throat> uh, what do we want to use for the marker? Uh, got a lot of options, don't we? We'll just use, let's just use this X thing. Um, can we just use the X without putting any text in there? No, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. So we have to have something here. Okay, so we're just going to call this exit. So that way, you know, we can head towards it on the compass when we're moving through here. I still might end up putting some torches or something else down though too. Now, uh, I want to clear away this kind of stuff so we don't get caught up on our, on the bike as we're coming through, especially if we're getting chased by a horde of ball sacks. Because, you know, we don't want to get caught by those guys. For reasons that I hope are very obvious to all of you. If I have to explain that to you, then we got bigger problems. Uh, all right, so let's move this way. Looking for landmines. There's potentially one right there. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, okay, I don't want to mess with zombie bears. No siree. Um, here, we can actually send him away. There he goes. Okay, good. All right, so now, is this a landmine? I would say not. So I think we're okay on that. Here. Let's give you a couple conks while you're down. Okay. Man, that wind is loud. Get all this stuff out of the way. This we should be able to just break. Okay, so it's relatively clear in through here. I'm not really too worried about the trees. We can dodge those. Okay, let's go keep working towards the yellow marker. Yeah, this way. Now, uh, oh, crap. Okay. I'm not 100% positive, but... I think the landmines are going to have, like, the little red, red button on the top. I think. Okay, let's get all this out of the way. Can I re remove this? Oh, yeah, that was easy to move. You'd think something that big would not have been so easy to, to move. Uh, 
Okay. So let's see. Our markers. Okay, this is our path. Let's clear this these cinder blocks out of the way. Okay, so that's still our path going through there. All right, let's go this way. Nice and slow. Get this stuff out of the way. Now, we got this big mound of crap in the way here. All right. Why am I so heavy? Oh, because we got this battery. Here, let's scrap this. Oh, it's the scrap iron. I see. Well, okay. We're probably going to have to take a trip back to the base. I mean, I really need to get fixed up anyway. There's some coal. So I guess the question is... I think it probably, because we got that building there, it would make more sense <clears throat> excuse me, to swing around this way. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's get this out of the way. And this here... I mean, we could probably trim this back a little bit too, but we don't have to take the whole thing apart. Let's just take a little bit of it apart. And we just kind of shoot right through here. Let's get this out of the way. Off with your head, dude. Off with your freaking head. Oh, soldier zombie. Will you go down? Man, you're a tough son of a bitch. I'm a little bit nervous about using my gun so much because we're going to attract attention. All right, you know what? I, I think we should stop right here, go back to the base, get fixed up. I need my, to repair my armor too. And then I will meet you guys back here and we'll continue trying to uh, work our way here through the desert. So we're, we're making some progress. And, or Did I say desert? I meant wasteland. I'm going to stop up and grab that buggy engine too. So yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, we are back and we're fixed up. And I had mentioned that uh, I might put torches down. And I got to thinking, well, you know what? I've been picking up all these lanterns all along. So why don't we use those to mark the trail? Uh, so that is what we're going to do. So we'll put the first one here. And, yeah, we'll just start marking the trail with these. Okay, so let's go back in I think our trail kind of goes along through here. So I don't know, you know, how many increments to put them apart. I mean, I only have 19 left, so we don't want them too close together. Um, oh, you know what, though? Yeah, they after you get out of a certain render distance, you can't see them. But I mean, as we approach them, they'll pop into view, I guess. Okay, yeah, that'll have to be good enough, I suppose. <clears throat> All right, so we had come through here. We got to about this point, and then I said we would curve over this way. So why don't we... Uh, here, let's get rid of these. And maybe we'll even cut this tree down. We're gonna get Hawaii Five O's attention here in a second. There we go. And we'll kind of move this back a little bit. Okay, so let's put a lantern, say, right there. And it, <clears throat> if I don't have enough, I mean, we're getting pretty close to the town. It's right over there, though. So, But I was going to say, if I don't have enough, then I might have to space them back out a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to come around this way. Let's get all of this crap out of here. And kind of maybe right through here, I'm thinking. 
So why don't we knock this tree down? And this... Okay, we'll come to about here-ish, and then put another light. Maybe right about here. Trying to get this out of the way too. What I'll probably do is I'll stay on, when I come through, I'll, I'll try and stay kind of on the north side of the lights. But yeah, we're actually pretty close to the town, so let's get all of this out of here. We gotta check some more cars, man. <laughs> I'm like all all about wanting to check the cars now. Alright. Is there anything I am keeping my eyes peeled for landmines? Uh dog over there. Let's just... If this one doesn't blow up, then I'm, I'm basically going to consider those um, duds. Move this way. We want to. I guess we. Okay, yeah, let's hop back off the bike for a second. Guess we want to come through here. So get all this crap out of here. That and this. Okay, there's actually looks like those are real POIs over there, or at least it's a farm. But that could get us to a road, though, too. Or we just kind of keep going that way. Um. If we keep going straight, though, then we have more of a straight line. I mean, you can almost see the path through here, you know, that I've made. Especially if we if we went back here and... Oh. Really? Okay. If I took out that tree and some of this rubble... It would be an even straighter looking path. Let's go over here and check this cop car. Oh, nope, nothing there. Okay, yeah, let's cut this out. And maybe kind of trim this back a bit too. So yeah, it's uh it's fairly obvious, I think, up to this point. Here, let's harvest this. That this is the path. Okay. So um yeah, let's just kind of keep I mean, like I said, I know we could go over towards the barn and probably get out of here sooner, but just having this nice straight path seems to be... I like that idea better. So let's just keep working this way. We'll get this out of the way here. 
I almost think we should take this tree out too and move that light over a little bit. Yeah, let's move it over to maybe there. <clears throat> Get this out of the way too. Let's run over here and check this ambulance. We might get some nice meds out of there. Die? Don't be biting me. Come on, give us some good meds. All right, well, those weren't terrible, I guess. All right, we're heavy again. It's probably because of iron, most likely. Okay, let's keep going this way. So the other light we put down is back. I can't even see it. There it is. Okay, so it just popped in. All right, let's stand over here for a sec. Yeah, see, that's a pretty darn straight path just right through there, isn't it? Okay, so let's put the next light, say, right there. And we'll cut this tree down. Man, we are getting heavy. We got lots of wood. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that trash that we put the buggy engine in and offload some of this stuff because it's good resources. I don't, you know, I want to keep them. There, we can actually just put it in this one. Okay, so heaviest stuff is this, this. I want to keep the gas with me. All of that can go in there. That can go in there. Those. Okay, that's good enough. We got to I'd like to get this done before nightfall because it's getting dark. Uh, let's move. Oh, shit, I keep hitting my bike. Okay. Ah, that didn't hardly mess with it at all. All right, I want to move this light. over a little bit and maybe cut this tree down too so maybe move it over to here and then we'll pick this one up okay I think this second light could come in just a little more. So maybe put it right about here-ish. And we'll pick this one up. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good spacing for that light, I think. That one could maybe come over a little more. Maybe to here. Doesn't have to be perfectly spaced out, but you know, whoops. I'd like it to be somewhat close. All right, and then this is pretty much where we left off. Looking for landmines. Where are you? Get on over here. Okay. All right, so let's get this tree cut. And we're probably going to wrench this Jeep, too. It 
it's not lootable. So yeah, let's just wrench it. No spitting allowed. No spitting allowed. Come on, nurse. Okay, good. So, we're pretty much just heading straight this way. Make sure there's no landmines in this path. We'll get to right about here. We're going to cut this tree down. Uh, that's actually probably okay where it is. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Maybe cut this tree down, though. I heard somebody coming. Off with your head. Okay. Watching for landmines. Let's get this van out of here. The path is actually kind of more this way, though, isn't it? I'm not cutting that damn thing down. But what we will do is we'll take this tree down. That house right there in front of us is part of the town, so we're just about there. Yeah, there's our path there. You know what? Let's get this out of here. And this out of here. And this out of here. Zombie bear over that way. And uh, looks like walking ball sack, too. Let's send those guys packing. Okay, the bear took the bait. Let's get Ballsack to take the bait. Oh, does he not get distracted by throat stones? Thrown stones? He doesn't act like he does. Hmm. Okay. Uh, all right, so here's our path. Uh, there's our light. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the next light maybe right about here. All right, let me go back along the path a little bit and then turn around. So, yeah, we're basically heading straight through here. And, yeah, all right, we want to go through this way. There's a big mama coming. Look at you go, girl. Hey, cut that out. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh, not good. We got ball sack. And I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get away. Big mama thumped us good. My goodness. Okay. Let's to oh shit, here he comes. Get on the bike. Get on the bike. <laughs> this guy's relentless. I need to take a vitamin. Let's get a little more distance between he and I and take one of these. Okay. Now, is he still coming towards us? Where's our, oh, I was gonna say, where's our road at? There he is, way over there. Whoops. Alright. Here he comes. You stay down. Whew. 
Okay. Let's go back. It's 8 o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Okay, so our road does kind of curve over this way, but it really needs to because we got that stupid building there. Okay, no problem. We can deal with that. So let's get all this stuff out of here. I might want to trim this back a little bit. Is there anything good in here? There's a dog over that way. Okay. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Get this tree out of here. We're heavy again. Okay. So, that gets us to here. Oh, there's a road right over there. It dead ends right here. Okay. I wonder if it would make more sense to change the direction a little bit and intersect with this road. Ah, oh, she stopped. Damn it. Oh, we still hit him anyway. So if we I think our road goes right by that house there. So if we punch through here, we could do it. On the other hand though, I mean, I guess coming to the end of this gravel road works too. Is there somebody in here? Uh-uh. Because otherwise, yeah, we're still going to cross wasteland terrain if we kept going that way. I don't, that doesn't really make sense to do that. So, okay. So, yeah, that's the deal then. So, we're going to, our road's just going to come to here. Let's get this dog out of the way. Come on, Zambi dog. Okay, get this out of here. That and this. And this. Okay. Um, do we still get... Stuff uh, like steal from those street lights. I'll bet you we. Oh wow, nice guys. We're gonna have to have a looting in the wasteland day. It's just all there is to it. <laughs> We've gotten such good stuff just by building our road. Okay, someone's. Uh, it's Arlene. Have an arrow sandwich, Arlene. We're like seriously in cupboard right now. Come on. All right. Let's get this car out of here. We've got a soldier Zeke over that way. All right. I want to nerd pull up there and see if we can get steel from that, but we're super heavy again. So is there a container anywhere? Is this car? Yeah, this car is lootable. Here, let's just put all this stuff in this car. Okay. So just the real heavy stuff for now. That was a super nice upgrade too. Um, quite a bit so. Quite a bit so. Sniper rifle action. 
Uh, and I got an extra scope too. Okay, let's, uh, where are, oh, there they are, right there. Okay, let's wrench this light post because I'm going to cut this post down. Yep, we got steel plating, nice. Okay. Is this a cop? Okay. Cops are way easier to kill than ball sack. They're actually fairly weak sauce. All right. Oh, we're getting kind of low on 556s. Five, five, so I'm going to have to make some more when we get back to the base. Okay, let's get this down. <laughs> really? Okay. There we go. All right, so we're going to put that light on the pole. I, uh, I guess that's not really on the pole, but we'll put it there. And... That pretty much takes care of our road, right? I didn't... Here, let's get not get so far away from the bike. It's nighttime now anyway. We got to get the hell out of here. I don't want to be here at night. Well, we, I kind of missed a little bit of a spot in through here just because we had that dog chasing us. So let's bust this out. And this is probably a good place for another lantern too. So we'll put a lantern there. Okay, yeah, we got that lantern there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the... Well, yeah, basically we just go to that lantern and then it, it becomes pretty obvious that the path veers this way. We should get this tree out of here, though. Because I don't want to run into it in the middle of the night, you know? Okay, I think that works. I think we got ourselves a road through the wasteland, ladies and gentlemen. Road through the wasteland. Okay, so what we're going to do in tomorrow's episode then is we're going to go into that town. We're going to finish opening trade routes. And I might actually start doing quests uh, in there just because we know we're going to get so much better loot. Oh, shit, if we do go. So... That is the plan. I, I still want to find a city, uh, you know, to, to ultimately move to. But, you know, we might stay here a little bit longer and just see if we can really get our hands on some good loot. So we'll see how things go. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.